West Prairie School District. After two years of work, renovations on the Colchester, Illinois Junior Senior High School are done. And News Since 5, WGEM's Dylan Smith talked with one student about how he thinks the building will make learning better. So Dylan, why is that? Well, Daniel and McKenzie, it comes down to climate control, more space and more safety. Before now, the building lacked those things, but come August, students won't be able to say the same. It's West Prairie sophomore Austin Nelson's first time inside the newly renovated junior senior high school. We all need to be in, in a new school. And it looks a lot different than what he remembers the last time he was here two years ago. The library needed a lot of fixing. There was like the tiles were all old. All the tiles need fixing. Like the roof tiles, they were like leaked and dirty and nasty. But the building has more than just that. All new flooring, more classrooms, climate control. Some of the rooms by 10 a.m. would be 85, 90 degrees and still climbing. The high school's principal, Jimmy Hoyer, believes the building will shift the school culture. When we have that pride in our building and then um, it, it trans, you know, goes to the students, it goes to our, our staff, goes to our families. <laughs> When construction began, middle schoolers had to share a building with high schoolers, and it was tight. You're updating where kids go to school to keep up to date with the way they're learning as well. Like the building in Colchester, it too needed fixing. Superintendent Guy Granert says the high school in Scioto needed around $3 million in repairs. There's more open space. We have a cafeteria for the first time in this building, so that'll be nice as well. Granert says there could be more in store during a phase two project. Until then, the building is officially complete. Our students Students deserve this. They really do. They deserve to have something nice to be proud of. And phase two of the project, Granter says, could include a new district office and a football field and track. He says the board would likely wait at least a year to make a firm decision on that, though. Dylan Smith, WGEM News. And thank you, Dylan. In the meantime, Gradert says they'll still use the gym, track, and football field in Scioto. And this project cost the district about $10 million bonds, district reserves, and grants paid for it.